if anyone knows anything about exploiting their pets to pay rent, it's us. So in this video, we're gonna give you some tips on how to take better pet portraits. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. The first thing you wanna decide is if you want your pet to wear something or have a prop to play with. And since Halloween is right around the corner, we got the boys a vampire costume and a bat costume. Obviously don't force your pet into something that they aren't absolutely comfortable wearing. And a little treat can go a long way in creating a positive correlation to the outfit. Carlton, for example, will wear anything, but Chester needs a little extra time to sniff the outfit first and get comfortable with it. Next, decide where you want to shoot. Maybe you have a fabric or paper backdrop that you can set up inside, or you can find a location outside that reinforces the theme of your shoot. We've decided to really embrace the fall season and shoot outside on a stretch of road where there's virtually no traffic and the leaves have turned beautiful colors. We also chose this light gray road because it helps both dogs pop out nicely as well. We waited until later in the day to shoot so we'd have the best lighting conditions. And while it was pretty overcast, we did get some nice light streaming in on occasion. You're gonna want an extra set of hands when dealing with a pet or two. And it's worth noting, uh, two are much harder to shoot than just one. Oh, oh, sit, 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 sit. Getting them both to sit on the same focal plane can be really challenging, and getting them both looking in the same direction is a real doozy. You should have a good idea of what motivates your pet to listen to you. Our dogs both love their T-R-E-A-T-S's. So I get them to sit, give them a taste, and then have them remain sitting while I go back to where Rachel is shooting from and hold the treat just above the lens. This usually does a pretty good job of getting the dogs to look at the camera, usually. We decided to use both a 24 millimeter and an 85 millimeter for these portraits. The 24 is good for getting up close and personal with the dogs and the 85 is terrific for compressing backgrounds and really letting the dogs stand out from their surroundings. You probably want to avoid shooting wide open with your lens and choose an aperture that has a little more depth so you can capture their entire face in focus. And if there's more than one animal, it helps if they aren't exactly on the same focal plane as well. Also, don't slow your shutter down too much for this. Try to keep things at least one two hundredth of a second or faster. If your animal moves around a lot, this will help freeze motion. All right, roll that shoot. Okay, I'll go roll. Beautiful chat, beautiful. Okay, oh, Chester, sit. Good, stay right there, stay. That's so, so cute. Oh my gosh. I think Carl wants that off of them. I think that's why okay, he's rolling. If you've watched our videos before, you probably know that we are pretty big fans of Squarespace. We have been customers of theirs for years, long before this YouTube channel even existed, and still have our three Squarespace websites going strong. Usually we do something off the walls for our ad spots like fake our elopement to trick my mom, spoof old MTV reality shows, or do our best Peloton commercial parody. But I wanted to let you know about some new things cooking over at Squarespace. If you're a photographer looking to diversify your revenue streams, check out their new member areas. This allows you to sell access to gated content like video classes, digital downloads, or newsletters. Frickin' sweet. You can also showcase your photography with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Customize the layout, look, and feel to make it your own. Also, you can schedule and book appointments straight from your website. You need to lock in client meetings? Well, they can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, making your life a heck of a lot easier. And if that wasn't cool enough, you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you go to squarespace.com slash mango street, or just click the link in the description. Thanks for watching Happy Halloween. Why do you always want to do that? Do the, do the end thing. <laughs>